In this video, I'm going to give you five ways that you can improve your offense immediately in Madden, and this is going to help you for Maddens in the future, as this is kind of a transferable, timeless concept that is going to make you a better Madden player. Now, if you really want to take your Madden game to the next level, consider joining our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks. It gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive eBooks, over 25 different eBooks, breaking down the game of Madden in a lot of different ways. If you want to become a member, you can sign up by heading down to the description, and I guarantee you that it is going to make you a better player but i also wanted to give you five things today that will make you instantly pretty much better overnight the first thing that i can say that i think is one of the most important things if you're going to become a better madden player is learn to do the little things better than everyone else champions execute fundamentals excellent every single time it's a lot of madden honestly um, can really become what can come down to uh, the fundamentals it's why you see a lot of people run the same offenses with varying levels of success bunch is one of the best offenses that you can run but the way that skimbo runs bunch is going to be different than the way that henry runs bunch which is going to be different than the way that does runs bunch which might even be different than the way that kip runs the gun bunch formation and so the point is just to say that if you can get really really good at the little things of madden things like simplifying your playbook things like uh, going through pre-snap read progression, things like taking your flat route when it is there, things like throwing the ball away if the if there's nothing there. On defense, simple things like moving the safeties into position, playing strategic bend but don't break style of defenses that's going to force your opponent to work. Um, you know, those are little things. Things on defense like picking your place, um, waiting for the offense to pick their play first every single time. Those are simple things that you can all everybody can do that is going to instantly make them better. Problem was what made Problem so good, if you think about it, um, especially in the MCS era, even though he didn't ever win an MCS belt, he still was always one of the top players uh, for the last couple or for the for the first couple of years of the MCS era. And then uh, obviously, you know, kind of transitioned, doing a little bit different, not as uh, locked in specifically on Madden. Uh, it's kind of broadened his, uh, his, his game library. Um, but I did want to kind of emphasize something that I think Problem mastered. And it really is this concept of doing the little things really, really well, managing the game, managing the clock, clock management, that stuff is all really important. That's kind of my second tip is something you can instantly do today that is going to make you a better Madden player is start to pay attention to situational clock management understand and learn and think through different scenarios that you're going to be in. And you can just review different games that you've probably already played. Um, a lot of these clock management situations arise game to game. For example, how are you going to handle an end of half situation? Um, how to you know score at the end of half but not give the ball back to your opponent with enough time so that they could not go down and score as well. Um, you know, how are you going to clock out at the end of a game? Are you going to, what are you, what is your like, you know, go to pass play for the, the, if you have to pick up a first down, do you have that? The biggest thing here is again, just managing the clock, managing those little things, the situational football that is going to make you a significantly better uh, Madden player. The third thing, and this is going to really help with the first two things, um, and it's going to make your life a little bit easier, and it is to simplify. I can't say this enough, but simplify, simplify, simplify your playbooks. Uh, simplify your route concepts. Not every play in Madden is created equal. In fact, if you study some of the best players in Madden, it doesn't. You can pick up any Madden and look at what the top players are doing, and generally, you can condense their unique play calls, specifically on offense, to about ten to fifteen unique plays that they're going to utilize in a given Madden game. The reality is, if you actually think about the coming back to the clock management piece of this, if you think about it in Madden, you've probably got about thirty play calls. At the most, probably 40, maybe 50 if you play like an overtime game or something. Chances are you're going to have about 30 uh, play calls. I've actually gone back and charted a lot of these competitive games. And again, there's about 25, about 25 to 35 play calls in an average game. You don't have to have a super deep playbook if you master the plays that you have. And so this is going to help with maximizing the clock. It's going to help you with maximizing, making sure you're doing the little things well defensively what a lot of pro Madden players do is they base out of one specific defense 
typically centered around a blitz. And I'm just going to give you a quick summary of the meta over the last couple of years defensively. Madden 17, which is the, the game that this this game was played on. Madden 17, it was all about nickel blitz 2 out of nickel, uh, nickel normal, now called nickel over. Uh, Madden 18, it was all about LB cross uh, 3 show 2 out of 3 through 5 odd. Madden 19, it was either Tampa 2 out of nickel 3 through 5 normal or LB cross 3 uh, show 2 again out of 3 through 5 odd. Madden 20, it was dime 140 Four six cover two sink um, or three four odd with the run defenses that you could do out of that or three three five wide. Madden twenty one was three three five wide. It was either Mike Blitz zero or it was Mike Blitz three. Madden twenty two was pretty similar to that. You also saw some DB fire or some pinch two. And then of course Madden twenty three, it's been dollar DB fire two or it's been dollar spinner. So literally over the last couple of years, there's been a predominant meta defensive play. Not even just meta defensive formation, a meta defensive play. They've simplified, defense has been simplified to the point that you can basically run the same play every single time on defense, just making adjustments around that play. And that is the at the top of the top players. That's what they generally do year over year. The only reason I'm saying that is it just heightens and, and kind of highlights this idea of be as simple as possible. Number four, uh, we've talked about clock management, doing the little things well, being as simple as possible. Number four is take a breath. Pause, take a breath, think. You don't have to, you don't, it, it, the game does not always have to be played at 200 speed. You can slow down, you can think through things, try to think through what your opponent just did, what they're about to do based off of tendencies. And then the last thing is play the next play. Just play the next play. You don't have to win. You 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 normally can't win Madden in, in one play typically, but you can certainly lose the game in one play, especially at the end of half. And so just play the next play. Stay focused on moving ahead in the game and making the next best play that you possibly can. And that will help with one of the things about Madden that I think all of us have to come to understanding is it really is a mental game. For the most part, Madden, there's a skill gap or there's a knowledge gap, and it's truly a mental game. It's one of the reasons why I personally like it so much. Um, and so just play the next play. Don't get so bogged down with what happened to play before. Whether Don't get too high. Don't get too low. Just play the next play as best as you possibly can and focus on executing your defensive play call or your offensive play call and doing your job as best you can. If you're on offense, obviously your job is typically going to be the quarterback. If you're on defense, you're typically going to be in the middle of the field trying to user the problem routes that your opponent is using or is putting on the field. So those are uh, my five tips to becoming better at Madden instantly, and this will help you in any year of Madden. Now, if you really want to take your game to the next level, join the Patreon. You can sign up by heading down to the description below for just 10 bucks.